We also have Pat Leahy now in the Senate Judiciary Committee saying he'll subpoena, uh, you know, uh, uh, Scott Jennings and, and Carl Rove. Uh, I understand you say it will probably be dragged out in court, but when we talk about it as it's all sound and fury signifying nothing, that implies that what the Democrats ought to do is go, okay, this, we're not going to get it settled, so what? Forget it? No, no. Listen, there are a number of options here, uh, and um, uh, there are different ways to skin the cat. Um, look, uh, ultimately, they do have another recourse. They could they could bring uh, impeachment proceedings against the attorney general, and uh, you know uh, th there are the, the house does have that power. I haven't heard anybody talk about it yet, but yesterday you had four senators ask for a special prosecutor to investigate Gonzalez for perjury. I mean, who's going to appoint these special prosecutor? There is nobody to appoint the special prosecutor if they really think that there's been criminal conduct or perjury or false statements to Congress. They can conduct their own investigation through the impeachment process of that if they want to go that route. Well, Michael, and we're talking to Michael Isikoff for Newsweek. Uh, I want to ask you one last question. I, I don't think that they're boxed in, partly because I agree with you. I think they have a lot of options. One, I think they should uh, take it to the courts because the courts should decide whether a president can do something illegal and then cover it up with executive pro sure, but privilege. But the question is, as a practical matter, no, I understand. Is that and as a practical, come while this president is still in office, right? And as a practical, I think as a practical matter, it's important to our democracy that they do that. And as a practical matter, you're right. There's no reason why they shouldn't start House impeachment proceedings against a man who was clearly committed perjury. I didn't perjury say they over. should. I just said that is an option. That is an that option. Is that is an option. Right. You're right. There's That's another, what you said. There is very quickly another option. There's something called inherent contempt, where they can enforce contempt themselves. They can have the sergeant of arms arrest Harriet Myers on the street of Texas and bring, bring her to Washington for a trial before the House and in, incarcerate her. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's an option that hasn't been used for mm -hmm. something like six years. We like, years, we like you that. A constitutional option. We like you that option. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I heard that option. Now we're having fun. I think, there'd be, I think there would be a court challenge on that one as well. Oh, you so, think? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that sounds fun. I'll tell you, man. That little part of the Michael Isikoff interview, there is something there, a little interesting, a little interesting. Imagine the sergeant at arms going down to Texas and arresting Harriet Myers. You're under arrest, Miss Myers. No. Uh, ladies, uh, Harriet Myers, uh, we have the house surrounded. If you please put down your weapon, come out of the house with your hands raised. <laughs> no, just do an Elliot Gonzalez like bum rush. <laughs> go, it's go time. Go, go, go. Knock down the door. Take out Mary, Mary Ellis Gonzalez, Donato <laughs> Dalrymple, yeah. grab Harriet Myers, and bring her to jail in the Capitol. <laughs> we have the former White House counsel. We have the former White House counsel. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, man, she was going to be on the Supreme Court. Yeah. Could you imagine if they arrest her? Uh, you know, it's not just Harriet Myers. I mean, Harriet Myers is the most brazen case because she didn't even show up when they asked her to show up. But theoretically, Josh Bolton, Carl Rove, uh, Scott Jennings, all these people, they go down to the White House and be like, step aside, Sergeant at Arms, you're under arrest.